Technology people, my name's Sean. I work in the math department up here at COCC, and Teresa has asked me to talk to you about our good friend, the cubic centimeter, also known as one milliliter. Okay, so cubic centimeter, totally fun. It's a little tiny cube that's a centimeter by a centimeter by a centimeter, okay? And in one of the most amazing parts of the metric system of measurement, the space enclosed by a cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. And in an even awesomer kind of connection, if that cubic centimeter or a milliliter was made of water, it would weigh exactly one gram, which I personally find to be like one of the coolest parts of the metric system. You've got uh, uh, weight, grams, length, centimeter, and volume, liters, all kind of tied together into one unit. So anyway, mind-bogglingly cool. Uh, one of the things we kind of lack by, uh, by not using the metric system here in our country. But anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about how to get comfortable with the idea of a milliliter. I'm gonna stop calling it a cubic centimeter now. Instead, I'm gonna call it a milliliter because that's what we're talking about today. And we're talking not just about the milliliter, but its larger cousin, the liter, and its smaller cousin, the microliter. So let's start with the, uh, the milliliter. So why is it called a milliliter? Well, milli, uh, from what I remember, is the thousandth. And so milliliter is a thousandth of a liter. So what that means is, if we take this milliliter and get it together with uh, 999 of his buddies, <laughs> we now have 1,000 milliliters and 1,000 milliliters is equivalent to one liter. I think I just dropped one on the floor. I'll find it later. Um, a liter is probably, it's kind of hard to envision a liter like this, probably. You're probably more used to seeing them like this. This is a, 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 an old H.B. Stein filled with good old Central Oregon water. Volumetrically, they're the same. If I was to melt down all of these plastic cubic uh, centimeters, they'd fill this, this mug very nicely. So, in, in kind of review, a thousand milliliters is equal to one liter. Another way of thinking about that is one milliliter is equal to one one thousandth of a liter. So that's an, another way of thinking about it. Um, what I want to do next is get into what would happen if this were the large quantity and we broke it into little tiny pieces. Let's do that next.